Hey, good morning, everyone. Pastor Nick here. Thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, this morning, I want to take you to a verse found in Matthew chapter 24. And we're going to go to verse 13. And yes, this is a pink Bible, um, but it is not mine, I promise you. But this verse, uh, Matthew 24, verse 13, it's something that Jesus is says kind of in the middle of speaking of the end of the age and signs to look for um, that will tell us that he's returning soon. But in the middle of all of that, he says, but he who endures to the end shall be saved. And that's what I want to talk about this morning. He who endures to the end. Now, this concept of endurance is very important for us to understand as a believer um, because when you enter into the, the kingdom of God, when you become a believer, you receive salvation. You know, there's a lot of people that, you know, very rightfully so get, get very, very excited in the beginning. And I'm thankful for that. I love seeing the, the excitement of a new believer. Um, you know, for some other believers, it's, uh, it's difficult coming into the kingdom of God, um, you know, not receiving salvation. I mean, that's a that's a free gift from God that we pursue, but just the the fact that people have to change so much and, and sacrifice so many things in life and maybe, you know, friendships and family relationships change a little bit because who you are is changing. But, you know, how we begin it's yes it's important because we have a beginning but our our beginning is not as important as our ending now obviously right now all of us are living somewhere in between our beginning and our ending and Jesus is is saying that he who endures to the end not he who begins not he who goes halfway, but he who goes all the way to the end will be saved. I want to jump ahead a little bit to another verse found in 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 3. And this is Paul the Apostle writing to a young pastor named Timothy. And he tells him, you therefore must endure hardship as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And again, we find that word endure, endure hardship. You know, what endurance is, uh, part of what endurance is, and you can obviously tack that onto physical activity very easily. Endurance is, is continue, continuing to pursue that activity even when it's very difficult and you want to give up. If you ever went on a nice, nice long run um, you've probably experienced that you're you're running and you're running and then you you start to feel winded and you want to give up but you want to keep but at the same time you need to keep going and finish your run or finish your race uh, but Paul here he he enlightens us on the fact that um, we will we will endure hardship uh, as a believer I, w I would like to think that everything would be perfect. And uh, I think some people have that misconception of Christians that life is just perfect and everything is, is dandy. And But the problem with that is we live in an imperfect world where sin and darkness exist. So life in itself is not perfect. The advantage that we do have is we have Jesus uh, who is perfect, to get us through those imperfect times in life. But I like what Paul is saying here, is is the saying to endure hardship as, here, here, here's what's key in this, as a good soldier of Jesus Christ. And I can relate to that as, as a soldier. 
I remember this, I can recall this, this moment in one of the very first courses that I took in my military career. And we were going on this long ruck march and, uh, you know, we're all geared up. We had been outside all day and it was, it was hot. It was the, it was in the middle of July. It was the, um, it actually broke some records that year, um, that heat wave. Um, but anyways, we were, we were marching kind of in a, in, in ranks and we were leaving the, uh, the woods, leaving the field and we were heading back to the base. And a lot of these guys obviously were very new to having all the gear on, having these rucksacks on their back. And I remember we were, we were probably about half, halfway uh, through this march and the guy in front of me, directly in front of me, he began to wobble. You know, in my, my mind, I'm thinking, you know, that's, that's not good. This guy's gonna, this guy's gonna fall out here. So he starts staggering to the side and I'm grabbing his, his ruck and I'm pushing him back into the rank. And the guy beside me, he's, he's helping and he's grabbing him as well and, and just trying to keep him afloat. And if anyone slows down in the rank when everyone's supposed to be moving, you kind of get this, this slinky effect and everyone's uh, stopping and going. And it's, it's more exhausting to do that than it is just to keep a steady pace. Um, but at some point, uh, the sergeant seeing that what we we're doing, keeping this, this other lad in line. And eventually he just told us, he said, let him die. So we're like, okay. And we let him go. And he, he dropped to the side of the rank and, um, the rest is history. He didn't actually die, obviously. Um, but it was kind of a, an awakening thought, right? You need to, you need to keep going. You need to go all the way to the end. Um, or, you know, there's cases where it could be a life or death scenario. Um, but we can relate to that as, as Christians, as believers, uh, maybe even right now, I know it's a very strange and, and difficult time that we're living in. And maybe you're, you're struggling with uh, going online with everything and, and you miss having those, those, you know, physical interactions with uh, other believers and, uh, you know, the strength that you get uh, just being around other Christians and having them lay hands on you and, and pray for you. And maybe right now you're struggling uh, because you don't, you don't have that and you kind of, in a sense, you're feeling like you have to carry all the weight by yourself. Um, first of all, I want to counter that and say that's that's not true. That you can absolutely reach out to um, our ministry team, another believer that you're you're comfortable with reaching out to in the church um, by way of messaging or or phone calls. And um, we're here to help. We're here to help you out. And obviously. Jesus is omnipresent. He's with us always, and he's always there to, to help. Um, but this is what I wanna encourage you with this morning. I wanna encourage you, as, as Jesus said to endure to the end, and as, as, as Paul said to Timothy, endure hardship as a good soldier. Yes, this may be a, a hardship in life, this segment that we're living through right now. But I want to tell you that even if you feel like giving up, if the the struggle is so real and the, and the weight is so heavy, and maybe your yeah, your mind is being attacked, and and maybe your heart's even feeling faint, and just everything is just just seems so so gloomy, and and you could have stress, you could have anxiety, you could have you know fears of of tomorrow, what's going to happen, all of this. Uh, running through your mind and in the middle of that um, overwhelming feeling, you may want to just stop and give up and say, hey, you know what? I can't do this. Um, but I want to tell you this morning that you can do it. Uh, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. So it is possible to get 
get through whatever you're going through. Um, you know, maybe I can't uh, relate to everything that you're going through, but I know that, that Jesus can. And even though you may feel like giving up right now, um, just keep going. Keep going. Keep running. Keep moving. Uh, keep enduring. Uh, even, even when it feels very difficult and you feel like you, you can't take one more step of faith, just take that step and keep moving. Don't give up. Don't give in to the, the pressures of life. They are real and hardships will come and that's, that's part of life in general. And that's part of what it is to be a Christian, to be a believer, is to be able to be that good soldier and to march on uh, even in the face of fear, even when you're physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally drained, until the mission is accomplished, you're gonna keep going, you're gonna keep moving, and you're gonna endure until the end. So that's what I wanna encourage you with here this morning, that regardless of, of how you're feeling, if you're feeling awful right now, I want you to know that you can do it and I want to tell you, do not give up. Just keep moving, keep walking by faith, endure to the end. Jesus will get you through it. If he brought you to it, he'll get you through it. So just keep going and be one of those who Jesus is talking about that endures to the end. And one day we'll meet him face to face and we'll get to hear him say, well done, good and faithful servant. God bless you today, in Jesus' name.